you, um, Acting Deputy President. Um, I rise to speak on um, document number listed as number eight. Uh, last December, the Senate passed a most important motion on um, calling on the Commonwealth, the Turnbull government, to respond to a whole number of issues to do with the Williamtown contamination. And there was one very important aspect to it where it set out that they needed to address the financial impacts on businesses and individuals. Now, when we saw the report, it was deeply shocking. It really comes across how out of touch this government is. Really, it's quite ruthless, it's uncaring. Uh, and it really is also the latest insult from the Turnbull government. And you came to the conclusion when you look at, because the report's vacuous, it goes for a few pages, but there is nothing of use there for the people of Williamtown. Um, the Turnbull government really comes across it as given up on working to solve the Williamtown crisis uh, arising from the contamination coming from the RAAF base that it has created. And when we debate this, that's what we need to remember. The Defence Department has admitted total liability, liability for the toxic runoff that has now been um, polluting that area for years. And a little bit of the history here underlines how shocking this report is, because we found out publicly it was disclosed about the uh, contamination in 2015, but through estimates questioning, we came to realise that, in fact, the department had known for much longer but had not told the public. Then there was an inquiry we were able to get set up in 2015, but at every stage the government has not done the right thing by the people of Williamtown. And one of the things that is so shocking is that the contamination continues to pour off the base. Now, this is a base that is incredibly important for Australia's defence. $900 million has been put into this base uh, to upgrade it for the jet strike fighter, fighter planes. Now, what a number of the locals, and I've been to the area, I've been to Williamtown on many, many occasions, and what often the locals have said to me, just one of those planes would help us get our lives back on track. It would allow the government, if they didn't go ahead with, if they, what they mean is, if the government didn't go ahead with buying all the strike, jet strike fighters, just gave up on one, put the money into the needs of the people of Williamtown, they could pay the compensation, buy out the properties where people have now been told that they can't eat their vegetables, they shouldn't sell their cattle. If they're running a business, the business is often collapsed. If they want to sell up themselves, they can't because the property values have crashed. Now, the decent thing, a humane, caring government would be working with these people to either help address their immediate concerns so they can stay there, because some do, but in the case of those, particularly those in the red, the red zone, which has been um, identified as the most contaminated, they would be working with them so they could um, get out. But nothing. This report is disgraceful. The closest we get from any details about the financial impacts is where the government lists a whole number of banks and financial institutions that um, the, its task force has met with. Nothing about the details from those meetings, no, no information about any recommendations. All they offer us is more excuses excuses to try and make out, well, maybe this contamination isn't that bad for your health after all, which goes against so much of the United Nations work, international health studies that have identified various cancers linked with this contamination. And then another thing that's adding to the stress of the local people is that the contamination hasn't stopped coming off the base. This is one of the things that is so extraordinary that the action hasn't been taken to clean up the pollution on the base itself. Now, I acknowledge it's difficult to manage this. It's a water-soluble chemical. It gets into the water, it gets into the soil, it quickly is dispersed. But the knowledge is there, the ability is there to contain it and then treat this area. But that hasn't been done. Meanwhile, this base has been given this massive upgrade, an upgrade for the jet strike fighter pilots. And what a contrast, where this becomes a state-of-the-art base to wage war. And meanwhile, the local people's lives are being devastated. And devastated is not a strong enough word. This report today 
has added more uncertainty, more insecurity, more sadness, more loss of hope. And that is what the government has delivered with this report before us today. I do wish to continue my remarks, Madam Deputy President. So the question is, oh, beg your pardon. Yes. So is leave granted? Uh, Senator Rihanna has asked to continue her remarks. The leave is granted. Senator Steele, John, were you seeking the call? Uh, yes, to speak on document nine. 